Well, Grant, you're back, and you had an amazing year last year. So talk about how it feels to be back here. Oh, it feels great. Um, you know, especially coming from the the cold, snowy weather of Michigan to to here and having the sunshine out and uh, seeing all all the competitors that I've been uh, racing against for the past couple of years. It, it's uh, it's going to be a fun race. So there's not many people that have won back to back, but you have an opportunity to do that. Are you feeling the pressure, or do you try really hard to just focus on you know the task at hand and, and not think about all those other stats that come with what you're <laughs> trying to tackle? Yeah, I mean the the pressure is always going to be there, and um, you know I'd be lying if I didn't say that there's more pressure this year than last year. But um, you know I, I'm doing my best to try to try to ignore that and um, kind of go out there and do my thing and. Um, kind of just just do what, what I came here to do. I mean, we saw you unleash a pretty quick last 100 meters last year. I mean, you went so fast around Dressel, and he, he tried to hang on, but, you know, he, he ran a really great race, you know, really putting on those different surges. But is that sort of the race that you visualize this for this weekend, or do you have a whole different ball game, you know, laid out in your mind? Yeah, so um, the race last year was, uh, was you know, amazing, and uh, John ran exceptionally well. And, um, you know, a lot of the same racers that were here last year are back this year. Um, but I don't think it's going to be, a, you know, a carbon copy of last year just because the same guys are back. Um, you know, they're completely different runners, and, and so am I. So, um, you know, the race plan will kind of be adaptive to that. I know that you had an amazing track season last year. I mean, you ended up being the fastest two miler and the second fastest miler, is that right? Yeah. Uh, how do you really use that confidence going into cross country this year and, and knowing that you're even faster than you were the year before and you know, coming back knowing that you have a really good shot at, at winning again? Yeah, it's been, it's been really cool to kind of see um, the progression that I've made. And um, you know, just after each season, I've been able to kind of carry over my fitness into the next season and uh, you know, I think over a couple a couple seasons of doing that, I've just gotten stronger and stronger. So, um, yeah, looking back, it it definitely gives me confidence. But this is cross country, and uh, you know I'm gonna go out there and, and do my best. So I'm ready to compete. We know you kind of are. You you can kind of throw out all, all kinds of cards, you know, in this race. I mean, you have a great finish. You're very strong. You're great up the hills, down the hills. Um, what do you think is your secret weapon when you race? <laughs> Secret weapon. Um, <laughs> kind of, you know, when I was when I was a freshman and, and sophomore in, in high school, I wasn't I wasn't strong enough to ever hang with guys, and I would get dropped. But um, if I ever got in a race where the pace was slow, I, I knew I could always compete with the guys if there was 200 meters to go in the race and I was still in it. And um, I still bring that confidence to to my racing senior year. So. Um, yeah, the end of the race is, uh, you know, something that I've always uh, been a little stronger than, uh, you know, my other areas of running. But, um, you know, I think the other areas have caught up a bit. So, it'll, um, yeah, I'm, I'm more well-rounded than I was uh, a couple years ago. That's so. scary. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we've talked a little bit about your training and your race strategy and frame of mind. But this weekend is a fun weekend, no matter you know how the race goes. Really, I mean, you come back from the race and you have a fun afternoon and evening after here at the Del Coronado. But you know, when you look back, and obviously fun to say you won this race, but what what does this weekend mean to you? This weekend, it's it's kind of the culmination of of the entire cross country season, and now that I'm a senior, it's the kind of wraps up my senior year of cross country and all of high school. So. Um, it's always a fun, a fun event to, to kind of end things out on, and um, hopefully it goes out on a high note this time. 